to my kitchen. So Christmas is less than two weeks away, so I thought for this week's cake decorating video, I would do a very Christmas inspired cake for you. Now, what is more Christmassy than a Christmas wreath? So I'm gonna be showing you how to make this pretty Christmas cake with a Christmas wreath on the front. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so to create my cake with the wreath on the front, I'm first going to cover my cake. Now I'm just going to be using a six inch round cake, which measures around five inches in height. And I'm going to be covering this in some of the pre-colored ruby red fondant from Renshaw. Now I'm using the ruby red just because it's quite a deep red and I think it will give a great Christmas color. So I'm just going to roll that out until it's large enough and cover my cake. Now I'm going to smooth that onto the sides of my cake. Go in with my paddle smoothers and my flexi smoothers. Smooth down that side and create a nice sharp edge on the top. Now I do have a video that goes into more details how I prepare my cakes and cover them with fondant. So I will put a link in the description below to the full video so that you can check that out. So once the cake has been covered, it's now time to prepare the board before we start working on the detail on the front of the cake. For the board, just to contrast that red cake, I'm just gonna be using some of the pre-colored emerald green fondant from Renshaw. So I'm just rolling this out and I'm gonna lay it on top of an eight inch drum board. Now the drum boards just measure a centimeter in height. And you've probably seen me do this in so many videos. I'm just gonna add some water onto my board just so that that fondant will stink. I can then smooth it down and trim off any excess. Now to finish my board, I'm just gonna wrap a matching green satin ribbon around the edge. I can then place a small amount of buttercream just on my board and just using my spatulas, transfer that over. Okay, so for the design of my cake, I'm gonna be popping in a Christmas wreath on the front. Now this is going to be made up of some holly, some pine cones, some mistletoe and a little bow but in the center I'm going to be having some text. Now for the text you could just paint this on or use some letter cutters. I'm going to be using the candy set by Sweet Stamp and I'm going to be using the word joy so I'm just using a bit of fondant just to pull my letters out. Once you've got your letters, I'm just gonna work out what size cutter I'm gonna need for the front. I've got a circle cookie cutter, and this one just measures three inches in diameter. So this one will give me enough space for my letters and also for my decoration around the edge. Pop those to one side while we roll out our fondant. For the fondant on the front, I'm gonna be using a slightly off-white ivory color, just so it will complement that darker red that it's going to be sitting on top of. Roll that out and cut out my circle. Now I'm going to glue this with some edible glue before I push my letters in. Now with my sticky pad I'm just going to pick up three letters, push these into the front of my cake. Rock that back and forward so we've got that joy spell out. Now you can always take them off and just push them in slightly more. Now I'm going to leave the front disc just for that fondant to dry slightly so that I can paint inside my lettering with some metallic gold. Now for the detail that's going to create the wreath on the front, I'm going to start with creating some holly. Now I've got a set of three PME holly cutters and I'm going to start by using the smallest one. So this one measures around a centimeter and a half across the length of the holly. I'm using some dark green fondant. Roll this out and cut out some of those pieces of holly. Now I'm rolling this out to around one to two millimeters in thickness. For some of them, I'm gonna keep them flat while they dry. For some of the others, I'm just gonna take my Dresden tool and push down on that end, just so we can pull that end together and just give that holly leaf a little bit of shape. So once you cut out quite a few of your pieces, leave these to one side for that fondant to harden slightly so that they'll keep their shape on the front of the cake. To go with my small pieces of holly, I've just got some bright red fondant and I'm gonna create some berries. So I'm just taking really small amounts, just rolling them in the palm of my hand, create little small balls. Now you can use the end of your Dresden tool just to 
push a little dot into those. Do exactly the same, but in white. And these are gonna be the little berries that are gonna be on our mistletoe. So I've just got some plain white fondant. Now I'm not gonna have as many pieces of mistletoe on the front of the cake as I have the holly. So I'm just gonna do a few of these. For my mistletoe leaves, I've got a slightly brighter green. Take a small ball, which is around four millimeters in diameter. Taper down one side so we start to get a cone shape. Flatten that out slightly. Using my finger I'm going to push it in to one side just to curve that round and with my Dresden tool just put some lines in there for texture. Use the end of my Dresden tool just in that bottom pull it around slightly and give my leaf some shape. Trim off the bottom so it's got a straight edge. And there is my first mistletoe leaf. So I'm gonna make a few more of those. So at the top of my wreath, I'm gonna be putting a small bow. Now I will be painting this in gold. So I'm just starting with that ivory fondant that I used for my disc. Now I do have a more detailed video on how I make a larger bow, which I will put a link to in the description below. Pull this out until it's around two millimeters in thickness. Create a long strip. This one is just over a centimeter in diameter. And I'm gonna have two pieces that are around three centimeters. And these are gonna be the two sides of my bow. Create a thinner strip, which is gonna be for the center. And I've got two pieces that are around a centimeter wide and about two centimeters long, which I'm gonna use for the tail of my bow. For the two larger pieces, I'm gonna flip those over, taking one side of the fondant, pulling it over to match other side, and just pulling that together, I'm just trimming that off. Take some edible glue and just glue those two pieces together. Taking my center piece, wrap that around the middle, trimming it off, and just put some lines down there, which you would get when you tie a little bow. I've then got my two end pieces. Trim these so that they're slightly wider at the bottom. Then cut them with a V shape and my bow can sit on the top. There we've got a little Christmas bow. Because this is a Christmas wreath, I really wanna add some pine cones. Now you can get molds for tiny pine cones, but I'm gonna make them myself. So I've got a piece of the red fondant that I used for the cake. Now you can use brown, but I will be coloring mine with some edible tin. Now my pine cones are gonna sit on the front of my cake, so I'm not gonna make them cylindrical, I'm gonna make them flat on the back. I'm starting with a ball of fondant, and this one measures around a centimeter across, taper that down on one side so we get a teardrop shape. Place that on my surface and just push onto that so we get a flat back. Now for this I'm going to be using my craft knife, my Dresden tool and I've also got a tool which has a point at the end but it's just made of rubber. So I want to go in and divide this up. Now I want four different rows and I'm going to go in with my craft knife cut into that but without going all the way through. So I'm going through about a millimeter. Now I've got my four sections and I wanna divide these up going the opposite way. Starting from the top, I'm gonna to cut in and do two lines coming down. And for the others, I'm gonna put in three. Now taking my Dresden tool, where we've got the line, if you come above the line, I just wanna push into that fondant and flatten it down slightly so that the row underneath starts slightly higher. So we're just trying to create the shape of the pine cone. Now taking my Dresden tool, I just wanna push into those sections to open them up slightly. So just coming in at the top and pushing that Dresden tool in. Now I'm gonna go in with my rubber pointy tool, pushing on that front, round off those edges and just open them up. And just with your fingers, Pull some of that fondant up and at the bottom I'm just rounding that off and I can use this just to go in and put some texture. So we're just trying to create distinctive rows that look like we've got pieces of our pine cone coming up in each layer. Now the great thing about nature is they never all look exactly the same. And the ones on the side, you just wanna make sure they're flaring out slightly. So it looks like those pieces of pine cone are just wrapping around the other side. 
for that fondant to firm up so that when I add some color with my paintbrush, I'm not gonna be pushing it down. I've just got some cream, some brown, some chocolate, and some black edible tin. First go in with some of that chocolate brown, just to change the color of that red. I've then got some of the slightly darker brown. I'm just gonna go over the top in areas where we created the lines and cut in so inside the sections coming up i'm going to bring in some black just creating some shadow underneath and i'm just going up those lines that separate each part now on the edges i'm going to take some of that cream and then dust that off and we're left with our little pine cone i've then created a few more pine cones in exactly the same way just to add onto the front of my cake. So I've got my holly leaves that have now hardened slightly. And I've also got some green edible tint. So I'm just using an apple green, a foliage green, and a woodland green. With a large fluffy brush, I'm gonna take some of those colors and just dust these over the top, just to add some different shades of green just so it will look a bit more natural when they're applied to the cake so i've got my little bow that's going to go at the top and i've got some royal gold luster dust now i'm just going to take some sugar flare rejuvenating spirit and add these together create a gold paint i can then use this to paint all the way over the top of my bow leave that to one side to dry I can then go in with the same royal gold and rejuvenating spirit just with the smallest brush from the sweet stamp duo and i'm going to paint inside the lettering that we put on the front of the cake so there we have the lettering on the front now the next thing to do is add all of my leaves and decorations around the circle to create the wreath i'm going to start by taking some of my small holly leaves and i want to start by going round the edge first of all just using the flat ones that we created i can then go in over the top of these and add in the ones we created where parts of them were turned up slightly now to attach all the elements onto the cake you can either use edible glue or some royal icing and i've just colored this in a green color so that it doesn't show if some of it oozes out from between my leaves so i've just popped on one layer of my flat holly now just on this top edge i'm going to keep these ones quite flat because this is where i'm going to be adding my bow so just leaving around an inch at the top i can start building up around the edge with the holly that we slightly turned up so the ones that look a little bit more natural now in some areas i'm just trimming some of that holly off so that i can place it around the edge now take my bow and add this on so just put some of that royal icing or your edible glue push this into place i can then start adding in my pine cones and my mistletoe leaves Now, the last thing to do is just add in all of my berries. So I've got the white berries to go with the mistletoe and the red berries to just go in little bundles with the holly. For the wreath itself, I ended up using 36 holly leaves, three pine cones, the gold bow at the top, six mistletoe leaves, eight mistletoe berries, and 14 of the holly berries finish the cake off I've just got a ruby red satin ribbon which I'm just going to place around the bottom of the cake just to neaten up that bottom edge so here we have the finished Christmas cake with this Christmas wreath on the front I really hope you've enjoyed this video and will enjoy making your own version of this cake if you have enjoyed the video then don't forget to give it a like and if you'd like to see more Christmas videos then you can head over to the video section of the Cakes by Ninja YouTube channel and there'll be more for you to find there also don't forget you can subscribe to the cakes manage youtube channel so you don't miss any future videos now i will put links in the description below to all the tools that i used throughout today's video but until next time bye